The first time you open up Absinthe in standalone mode, you need to set your audio and MIDI settings. And the way we do that is from the File menu. We choose Audio and MIDI settings, and the first tab of the three is Audio. If you're using Windows, you choose an ASIO driver. On the Mac, it's Core Audio. And then you choose your audio device, the one that you're getting your output out of and the one that you're using for input. In my case, it's a Mark of the Unicorn 828, but you may be using your built-in inputs and outputs or some other device. Typically, you'll want to set your sample rate to 44.1, and then latency determines how much time there is between the time you press a key and the time a sound is produced. The more samples, the longer the delay. Now, why would you ever want to increase the samples and get a very large latency? Well, the trick with latency is to minimize your pops and clicks, which means that your CPU is working too hard. And sometimes you need to increase the number of samples in order to eliminate pops and clicks in your audio. For the most part, I shoot for a 10 millisecond latency, and that seems to work pretty well on most machines. On the MIDI tab, we set up the MIDI controller that we're using to control Absinthe. Now, Absinthe does have a virtual keyboard, but you probably want to use a real controller keyboard if you're going to be using Absinthe in a more professional manner. So you'll set up whatever device you have to control Absinthe. You'll turn that on. There's a MIDI outputs page, but you probably don't have to worry about that. And then finally, you need to set up your audio inputs and outputs, which you do on the routing page. For inputs, you can choose surround inputs or just a left and right stereo input. In my case, it's analog one and two on my Mark of the Unicorn interface. And then where is the sound coming out of? That's what we set up on the outputs tab. We can go up to 7.1 surround, but if you're just using stereo, all you need to set up is your left and right outputs. Once you've got your MIDI and your audio set up, you click OK, and you should hear sounds. And that's setting up audio and MIDI.